What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming into with another episode of Hockey Mass Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect, and it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Ah, gentlemen, boy, the termination train has definitely sped up. Thank you, Neo the Outflanker, for those articles that you sent over to MGTOW TV. My goodness. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, the silliness has been put down. Or should I further elaborate? The silliness of women is consistently being put down by the men that they choose to be with and that they choose to piss off. Like the man in this article that was published on the 14th of March. Tulsa man testifies in termination trial, claims he accidentally shot his wife. Wow. Oh, it was an accident. Yeah, I accidentally popped her a few times. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! A Tulsa man testified in his termination trial Thursday afternoon. Prosecutors say Charles Bradley shot and offlined his wife, Sandra Bradley, at their home near 81st and Sheridan in 2022. He called 911 saying he may have offlined her. Bradley told the jury he didn't deliberately intend to offline his wife. He said he's had nightmares for decades because of his time serving in war in Vietnam. He said he loved his wife and had no reason to offline her. Um, sir, I was born at night, but I was not born last night. Now, yes, you may have had PTSD from the war. However, there's always something a little bit deeper that is involved in cases like this. Prosecutors disagree and say the nightmares are just an excuse. Investigators learned from family members the Bradleys had a rocky marriage. They say Charles Bradley disliked his wife's relationship with her boss. Ooh, yeah. The boss is involved. Potential monkey branching. Investigators testified that Sandra worked as an office manager for a doctor and the two went on a business trip and got back the day before she was offline. Fellas, come on now, a business trip? You think chicks didn't get clapped? Come on now. Prosecutors showed the jury both of Bradley's interviews with police. The first was on the day of the termination and the second was three days later. Investigators say Bradley didn't remember the shooting in the first interview, but in the second interview said he didn't realize it was his wife until he fired the gun. Investigators say Bradley shot his wife more than once. Bradley's attorneys say Bradley didn't have any issues with his wife or her boss and told the jury that Bradley had PTSD and was having a nightmare about a mortar strike the night of the homicide. Prosecutors 
and Bradley's attorneys will give their closing arguments tomorrow and the case will go to the jury. Well, well, well. <laughs> In my humble opinion, like I said, Cheeks more than likely got clapped on that quote unquote business trip. Now, ladies, it is your responsibility if your husband or boyfriend suspects you of being unfaithful, it's your duty to do everything in your power to ensure that that is not the case. Rebuild that trust. But as we all know, in this current society, a woman's infidelity is celebrated. Yeah, I got a good man at home, but guess what? I'm still going to attempt to do what's called monkey branching. And guess what? Society is all too behind me. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in the home. Gonna give that a 10. Method of execution. More than likely, the problem solving pistol. Gonna give that a five. Psychological impact. I'm gonna give this a 15. And for the brutality factor, he popped him more than once, so I'm gonna give that a 20. So Charles Bushwhacker Bradley gets a score of 50. Ladies, let me reiterate. When your, I was going to say partner, shame on me for saying that. Get out, get out, get out. When your husband or your boyfriend starts to suspect you being unfaithful, the best thing you can do is become extremely transparent. Here's my phone. Here's my social media. I don't want you to feel like I'm being unfaithful. But that requires a degree of one, common sense, and two, accountability. And as we all know, gentlemen, women have zero, and I mean zero problems taking secrets to the grave. Yeah, like perfect case, the judge. Yeah. <laughs> Women who have children with other men, they have zero problems taking that secret to the grave. But ladies, more and more men are no longer going to accept the idea of you being unfaithful to them. We all know what happens, especially in Maskistan. The mere suspicion alone is going to get you dealt with. And guess what? It would appear that men over here in America, they're taking notes. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And women around the world, you married women out there, once your husband suspects you of being unfaithful, hey, the responsibility and accountability falls on you to do everything you can to prove otherwise. But as we all know, I'm going to reiterate, especially here in America, a woman's infidelity is literally celebrated. And there are far too many people who say the stupid phrase of, well, you drove her into another man's arms. You were deficient somehow. No, no. She made a choice. And guess what? She got held responsible for said choice. So you better understand this, ladies, and understand it clearly. The power you think you have in being deceitful 
to the man in your life, that will go out. Feminism and the idea that we men are so quote unquote stupid that we don't see the signs, the changes, that thought process is going out right along with it. I've said it before and I will continue saying it in cases of infidelity. You women truly believe we men are stupid. However, we men are way smarter than you think. We're way more inquisitive than you think. We see those subtle changes. Why? Because we've been with you long enough to know the change. But continue to believe that men are stupid. And guess what? You're going to have more and more men who find out that their wife or girlfriend has been stepping out on them. And guess what? Some of those men are going to take matters into their own hands. And that's when the mask will be put on. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Woke up, murder on my mind, yeah. Losing all my hope, yeah. I'ma do the crime, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill, yeah. Fuck the red or blue, I'ma take the black pill.